Hey YouTube, it's me at your iPhoneCaptain.com. We've got 10 more awesome tweaks for you today. This is part 4 of the top 10 freebies. Let's dive in. The first one I want to share with you is one that I've sort of missed the last few times that we've uh, done these uh, series with you. You see on the screen how my apps just sort of fly across the screen. That's coming from a cool tweak called Cask. C A S K. C A S K. Right here. You can choose from different methods here. I've got it set to slide, but it does offer stretch, grow, fade, blah, blah, blah. We'll set it to stretch to see what it does. I'm not real certain. Nope. Doesn't require a respring. However, it may crash or may cause some kind of crash, but we'll leave it on that for the time being. But as you just saw, you can change these. The next one is called Lithium Ion. Lithium Ion is a battery theme for the status bar. You see up there, I have some little dots where the 100% is for the uh, battery yet. Well, if we go to themes, inside here you've got your primary themes and you can change these. I'm going to put it to the hearts, the Ion hearts, so you can see how these change right here. Uh, and for some reason they're not changing at this current moment but that's probably because of something I'm doing because you can believe me they do change because I was ha I had them changing earlier so but anyway you can flip them you can do all sorts of things with them but I've installed several tweaks and there might be something in here that's causing them to uh, not work properly you can also set up different uh, types of uh, profiles complete uh, so we'll hit save and as you just saw here we'll just uh, we just name this to uh, mine my name here just save that one now we got Mitch's thing so save that and we got it so next time I want to change this and we we'll come back in here I can change it that easy the next one is called haptic keyboard Haptic keyboard allows you to put that sort of that bounce back effect on your keyboard as you are typing on your keyboard. So if you like that sort of effect, I know the droid phones do have this a lot. When you go into your keyboards, that's what the haptic keyboard means. And I accidentally hit, and you heard right then it was re coming back up. Um, I accidentally hit that apply. I didn't really accidentally hit it. I didn't know it re-sprung when I hit it the apply but as you saw that is what happens so now we'll go back in here and let city load up and we'll go down this installed list again here well we won't go that route let's go in here and if you're wondering how I got this black this is coming from Eclipse 4 if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out it is a very sweet dark theme that you will enjoy that's sort of an inside joke. If you don't know what that's about, you should. Another cool one is called Cache Reporter. This lets you know when you have an app crash, a tweak cr crash, anything your device crashes, it lets you know. And it's a really good way right here. You see the little five there on there? That means I've had five crashes on this device in the last little bit. It says that I'm running, it appears that the previous session of, cra of the uh, crash reporter crash, this may have been to, to a tweak, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it's telling me what's crashed, and I can go in here and email this to a developer or anybody that might be trying to help me, or it's a number of reasons. I, I've got my tobacco in, and I need to spit. Now I'm ready. Now, another tweak, if you're going to be a, uh, no, a developer, a, um, a jailbreaker, you might as well download Filesa. You're going to have to have it. Go into Cydia, install this new repo. It's called repo.hackyour. Let me give it to you right here. Repo.hackyouriphone.org. And in there, you need to download and install files up. Go, to, go in there and down put that repo in and download files and get this shit done. Uh, another pretty cool tweak, guys, one that a lot of people like is Spotify Plus Plus. And, you know, if you're a Spotify user and you want all the advanced features without paying for them, and it only makes sense that you would, d download and install Spotify Life, it's called. 
S P O T I L I F E, Spider Life. And here you see I ain't logged in or nothing, but I'll go ahead and do that. All right, now you see I've got Spotify done. Now, if you see here, if I wanted to download a song, all I'd have to do is flip that on and choose wherever I wanted to download it. So you see it is working, and, and I can skip and forward as much as I want to on here and do all that sorts of stuff. That's one, single lines two. Uh, we had files as three, and we had... Uh, Haptics four, files is five, casket six. Uh, let's do app admin. App admin lets you downgrade your apps, and this is really fun and really cool to have, guys. If there is some type of application and it is causing you problems, you don't like a new update, or you don't want to update something, all you gotta do is come in here to your updates, go to your purchases here. And just hold your finger on one of these uh, uh, that you that you, you know that you want to might want to download or downgrade or whatever, and then you just hit tweak. Fuck me, you goddamn piece of shit. Go to App Store, and what is fucking going on? Go back in here, hold your finger on open. Until you get this pop up here, it says continue, downgrade, or block all updates, downgrade to previous. You can do all that with this tweak, guys. And it's free. It's called App Admin. Very nice, very good tweak to have. Another cool one, if, you, if you're a Twitter fan, is Twitter++, Plus Plus, uh, Facebook++. Plus Plus. All these plus pluses are available right now. Instagram plus plus. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video on all of them, but I'm sharing these so I cover my ass here and make sure I've shared at least ten. So if you're a Twitter fan, and you want to get Twitter plus plus, and you want all these extra uh, settings, then you need to download Twitter plus plus. And you can see right here, I'm just opening this up the first time, uh, and it, it's wanting me to follow all these people, and I already do. I don't know why it's asking me to do it again. I guess you can follow them 50 times and they get more view. I'm just being an asshole, guys. Anyway, if you don't follow me on Twitter, come over and hit me up, guys. I'm really not a son of a bitch. I'm a good guy. I'm just being a nice hole in this video, just trying to be funny. Anyway, guys, hope you like this video. This is definitely going to be a blooper reel. Hope you like that part of it, too. Hit that thumbs up button so I feel better. Share this with all your friends so they can laugh at me, too. And you keep coming back.